You've peed on the spot every day. I really don't have time for this right now. I mean, this is our meditation area and there's pee all over it. And I have to clean it up after you every... So we're walking up and down the rows of all the dogs and it's, it's sad, you know, seeing them all in there. And then we come across this fuzzy little thing in one of the kennels and he just like hops up and he just looks at us through the bars i don't like i don't like little dogs at all that's just not the kind of person i am so i was like no we're not getting a little dog are you guys loopy next thing i know the dog is in the car with us this fuzzy little long-haired smiley thing is sitting on my lap and the kids are like i want to hold him i want to hold him but this dog like is sitting on my lap he chose me I didn't even want the thing, but he's like, oh, I love you. You saved me. I didn't sign the papers. No, this wasn't my idea, but he was smiling and just sitting there and super chill the whole way home. Dobby, you want to go for a walk? We'll go for a walk. Yeah, he's kind of a terrible dog. He will, he does not go to the bathroom outside. He'll poop and pee just on the floor. I swear I'm going to kill this dog. He itches a lot. He has fleas that we've tried everything to get rid of these darn fleas. We've tried the $80 medication um, from Petco or a flea bath or a bunch of different stuff and they will not go away. I don't know what else to do. He just, they just won't go away. That's part of the reason why I shaved him too. Um, but he is kind of a cool dog. I mean, he's kind of, he's kind of dumb and he runs away and his eye, he's blind in one eye. Um, because when they found him, the Humane Society found him, he probably scratched it on a branch or something and then it just, it, it kind of bulges out a little bit and he can't really close that eye all the way, but... I don't know. He's he's kind of goofy, but it's worth it because he does stuff like this where he just he'll lay on my lap or he'll follow me around the house. He'll sleep on the kids' beds um, and follow them around too. So he's he's kind of a pain, and I didn't want him in the first place, but now I kind of like him, mm -hmm. and I'm glad that that we kept him, and I'm glad that we went to the Humane Society and adopted him. Oh, bless you. Oh, bless you. He, he does help a lot, especially when he's a little ball of sleeping warm right on my lap when I'm feeling upset about something, because petting a sleeping dog really helps. <laughs> 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 I think it I think it's a lot better to go to the Humane Society instead of going to like a puppy mill or a breeder or somebody because I mean all of all of these dogs are just in these little cages and they've had these horrible lives and it doesn't matter if they're a puppy or if they're an old dog or it doesn't matter like really what kind of breed you're looking for because I wasn't looking for a Pomeranian. I mean, those connections are made a lot better by going to the Humane Society and letting, kind of just letting the dog pick you as opposed to going to a breeder and having somebody just, here, take this one. It makes me feel happy most of the time. Um, I mean, not when he's getting into stuff. Dobby, you little shit. Seriously?
most of the time he helps me stay calm and not panic over little things. 